Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to Terraria. This is DJ357 here, welcoming you once again. And uh, we find ourselves having mined the absolute crap out of the underneath of our house. Uh, so, I'm going to show you now uh, the montage, as it were, of all of my efforts, starting now. Okay, now that you've somewhat recovered from that, what we're going to do now is we are going to have a look at the fruits of our labours. So, what we ended up with after we uh, took all the ore and smelted it into bars is we got 19 iron bar, 5 silver bar, and we got 72 copper bars. There was a lot of fucking copper down there. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to try and build something useful. Something very useful. And we are going to try and build an anvil, because I want... I am very sick and tired of my crappy little copper pickaxe. So, takes five iron bars, and boom, we have one. Let's see, can we place it here? Oh, okay, let's place it here. Oh, I can't place it there either. Dang it. Alright, you're going there. Hammer. The hammer is coming out. Gonna move this table, or workbench. Durr. Workbench. Ahoy. Okay, now there should be room for an anvil. And boom! There's the anvil. So now that we have the anvil, we can craft all these lovely metallic items. So we have uh, pickaxes, axes, hammers, 
Uh, there's the broadsword that I mentioned. So in the same way that the pickaxe swings around, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, it swings around the player. The uh, broadsword swings around the player as well, instead of the crappy little short sword, which just kind of pokes and stabs. So, and then we also have a copper bow. So once we have some arrows, which we have here, then we can use the bow. And the main thing that I'm looking for here, aside from a better pickaxe, is armor. So it'll give me a little bit of defense, so I'm not getting uh, so badly hurt by all those uh, ghasties and ghoulies. So, let's say the first thing that I want is a better pick. So this has 40% pickaxe power, whereas this has 35%. It's not a huge increase, but, you know, it'll help. So, yoink. Replace that. We have the Hurtful Iron Pickaxe. So, one of the things that uh, they introduced in a, mo in a more recent patch um, to Terraria is modifiers. Uh, I think that's the word they use, modifiers. Um, so when you craft stuff, it automatically gets a random modifier. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. Um, uh, once you get to a certain point in the game, I believe it's... Um, once you have, I think it's the Goblin Tinkerer, but I'm not 100% sure, um, you get the option to reforge your items. Um, so you can basically pay him money to forge them again in the hopes that you'll get a better random modifier. So this one is pretty good. It gives us plus 20% damage, which is, you know, given that we're, we were only doing like, I don't know, five. It's not a huge amount, but it's better than nothing. Okay, so we don't have any more iron bars for anything else because we only have two left. So, time to build a suit of armor. So, I'm gonna take these and plug them over here. Copper greaves. Check out my copper boots. Oh yeah. All right, now we're gonna go, go copper chainmail. Oh yeah. Check me out, I'm a copper knight with a beard. Boom. Fear my wrath, little slimy bastard. I am the bee's knees. All right. Let's go back over here and make that crappy looking copper helmet. This is going to look very dodgy, but whatever. Copper helmet. Man, that completely ruins my look. Covers up my beard and everything. I'm not sure if I want to keep that. But, we'll see. So. Now that it has become night time, next thing we're going to try and make with all of our lovely copper is a broadsword. So it does more damage than the short sword, and uh, as I say, it's it uh, swings in an arc, which is far more useful. Oh yeah, much better. So, utilizing our newly crafted gear, let's take these bastards on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, you like it, you'll take it and you'll like it. Sweet. So uh, you can see here that lots of plant life has uh, decided to grow in my different little areas, and obviously you can see the how expansive they are. Actually, kind of blows me away. I was just you know the stuff that I recorded it amounted to, a, to about an hour and a half of stuff, um, but obviously you only saw a couple of minutes of that at the absolute most, depending on. Um, exactly how much I fine-tune and tweak and edit. Uh, basically, you're not going to see very much of it. And uh, it's been sped up anyway. So... But I was just sitting there going, dig, 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 Oh, look at that. Dig, 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 dig. And the time just flew by, but I made all these kind of areas. So... Let's see how well we can take on a zombie with one of these. Boom! Oh yeah, well that's much better. Yeah, nice. And we're surviving much better as well. Our health isn't hugely depleted by the uh, kiss of death from that zombie. Take it. You know you don't like it. There we go. Ooh, just got a heart. So that zombie dropped a healing heart. So obviously you can see I have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different levels of uh, excavation carried out already. 
and uh, managed to get a ton of copper and a little bit of iron, enough to get me a uh, an iron pick, which I am quite happy about. I gotta say, it's slightly faster than it was before. It's not a huge amount faster, but it's slightly faster, and every little helps. Um, it does. It's not just something Tesco say. It's a fact of life. Every little helps. Can't trademark life, Tesco. You can't. You can't do it. Anyway. On to more important matters. So. Oh yeah, I got trapped at this point by an evil eye and I didn't have any of my gear, so I just dug and dug. And dog. And dog. So, what we're going to do now is we are going to jump to another section of frantic mining as we uh, basically continue on further down. And uh, the goal at this point is just to get uh, a full iron suit, or a gold suit, or a silver suit. Uh, whatever we can get that's better than copper. Um, I can actually see that there is a bit of iron down here, so let us mosey in down here. Grab up some iron ore. Lovely stuff. So we have three iron ore. Ooh, a guild's potion. Nice. So that guild's potion basically reverses the way that we breathe. Um, meaning that we can't breathe in normal air, but we can breathe underwater. So it's, a, it's an interesting potion in the way that it works like that. You'd think it would just allow you to, you know, breathe underwater, but it actually reverses the way things work, which is pretty interesting. So, I'm going to take those three iron ore, and I'm hopefully going to bring them up here and be able to smelt them in a bar, uh, because that's something that I would have done uh, during the, the frantic uh, hour and a half of stuff, but you wouldn't have necessarily seen how to do it. It's nothing crazy, it's nothing magical or fantastical. Uh, you just open up the crafting menu and take three iron ore and go bloom. There we go, iron bar. Now I have enough for an iron chain or an empty bucket. I'm going to go with the chain, because that's going to come in handy later on. And... Uh, Obviously, we'll tell you why once we reach that point. Uh, those of you out there who are interested, you can Google it, you can wiki it. Uh, there is a very extensive Terraria wiki out there that'll give you all the information that you need. It's generally what I consult when I'm trying to figure out what can I use this for, or how do I make this, or that, or, or the other. Um, so yeah, check it out. So, let us continue on our quest to mine the absolute crap out of everything. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you after the montage. Which is coming now.
Okay, so we're back. So we've uh, decided, as I'm sure you've seen, to uh, make an extensively deep hole in the ground and mined our way down. And uh, at this point we've reached an area where there is a lot of water. There's also a nice chunk of iron over here. Uh, we came across a nice vein of iron earlier on. Um, the only problem is this is underwater and there's a lot of silt around it. So silt, um, I'm, you may have seen it in the, uh, the montage uh, that's, that I've... The, <laughs> the montage that you saw earlier on. Can't even feckin' talk now. Uh, so you may have seen in the montage um, that sand can't even I just don't even know what's going on anymore Blah! so sand and silt blocks uh, they actually fall um, when you c uh, cut out a block below it it falls so anybody who's played Minecraft you'll understand the concept so uh, these are really the only blocks um, in the game that have basically gravity all the other blocks just sit there uh, whereas as you can see these silt blocks if you take out the bottom one the rest of them fall so I'm mining away this iron ore and I also saw some more further to the west and all that silt pops down and now I'm about to run out of breath so I need to jump back up here blah 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 okay whoa oh hello okay so we're, we're we're not a huge amount of the way down but we are quite deep uh, so once you get to a certain stage uh, if you can see this kind of stony background once you get to that point um, you're in it in it what's what's called a different layer uh, so there's biomes so there's jungle biomes and desert biomes and obviously the normal kind of grassland biomes but there's also layers the further down you go so we are in the stony layer uh, oh crap that is a piranha dangerous little bastards suck it there you go little fecker okay so one thing that you can do when you're mining underwater and it doesn't really work very well with silt unfortunately or sand one thing you can do is build yourself a kind of an airlock I'm just hoping I have enough time to do so ah, almost okay so there's a little bit of air up here so I can jump up there and get some breath back phew okay now this undead miner down here he's pretty cool he has the potential to drop some really interesting stuff so Let's drop down here and take him on. Now, the unfortunate thing about being in water is you can't swim through it unless you have things like flippers or diving gear or different items that allow you to swim. Uh, so, I've now effectively sealed myself in here with him. Underwater. Aww. You're supposed to give me some good crap. Oh no, oh no. Okay, I don't have any glow sticks so I can't see what I'm doing. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Drowning, drowning, drowning. Okay, caught our breath there. That's good, right. Phew. Okay, I see a chest over here. It looks like, looks like it might be a gold chest. So I'm gonna try and make my way over there. So, oh come on. Right, now I can get over there. So, one of the main reasons I decided to, well, one of the other reasons I should say, uh, I already made clear my main reason for starting up this series uh, was because of the upcoming update. One of the other reasons I decided to do this is because of watching uh, the live stream of Sips uh, from the Ogscast playing through this. And... I think the the great thing about the way he was doing it, obviously he was live streaming. He had a lot of people watching it and kind of commenting. Whereas when I'm doing this, I'm just sitting here on my own, uh, talking to you guys. So you know, I'm, I'm trying to make it interesting. I'm you know trying to come up with interesting stuff to talk about. Um, so I'm I'm I, I swear I'm trying my best not to be a boring bastard. Um, but given that you know I'm playing this game, and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm playing this game to show you guys what it's like and because it's fun, uh, I kind of stick into talking about the game a little bit. So, wow, our inventory really is full. So we now have 99 iron ore. So if you divide that by three, uh, you've got about 33 bars that you can get out of that. So that's pretty sweet. I like the sound of that. Um, but uh, these kind of items, like gels and iron ore and things like that, they stack in 
uh, stacks of 99, whereas blocks stack in stacks of 250. Uh, so I don't have any more room for this, which is not helpful. So we, we picked up a regeneration potion earlier on, uh, so that provides life regeneration, so it just gives you boosted uh, health regeneration. There's a small bit of health regeneration there normally. I think it's about one point every two seconds or so, something very, very minimal like that. Um, I don't need the blink root, so I'm going to get rid of that. And now we've started a new stack of iron ore. Cool. All right, sign All right. Now, where is that chest gone? Lost track of it. Well, let's continue on this way and have a look. Oh, cool. Oh, there it is. Ah, this is a little, um, it's like a little mining area. It's, it's not kind of a dungeon area. It's more of a, more of a mine area. Uh, anybody familiar with Minecraft um, would be aware that you'll come across certain areas that are basically m old mines. And it looks like that is what we've come across. Okay. So I want to try and get in there without unleashing all the water down there. But that's not going to be easy. Perhaps the best way to do it is just let in a tiny amount of water. And then we use our axe to break the wooden blocks, because that's the only way to do that. Okay, so it's not perfect, but there's very little water in here now. There we go. Yes, it's a gold chest. Let's have a look. Oh, sweet. Okay, we got 13 silver bars. We got one of the best items in the game, in my, in my personal opinion, uh, depending on how far you go, uh, is a magic mirror. So basically, it uses up a little bit of mana, so I don't think I can actually use it at the moment, which is unfortunate. Um, but all you need to do is, when you have it uh, activated, you just basically right-click it, and uh, it warps you immediately back to your house, which is fantastically helpful. So I'm extremely glad that I got that. I don't really need the regeneration potion, so I'm going to throw that back. I'm going to take the silver coins. Uh, there's an archery potion there, which gives you increased speed and damage with your arrows. Um, I don't have, even have a bow anyway, so there's no point in taking that now. Uh, is there anything now? I would really like to take that chest, so let me just steal this stuff. This is a guild's potion. Mm. Ah. No. Okay, let's throw that. Okay, and then we'll take the hammer. And boom! Awesome. Uh, okay, how are we going to do this? I don't need mud. I'll throw that away. It's fine. Awesome. So it looks like there's some sort of an enemy down there. He's interested in trying to take me on. Oh, it's a black slime. Interesting. Let us go have a visit. Looks like there's a little bit of silver down here as well, along with the copper. We'll take that. Ah, oh, looks like there's a trap down there. I knew I heard a weird noise earlier on. So what you what you'll be able to see here is there's a button here, and then there's a dart trap here. So you can see when the black slime goes onto the button, it activates the dart trap. I'm going to use my shurikens, if possible, try and take him out. There we go. Boom, and we'll try and avoid the button, because we don't want to get hit by that dart, because as far as I know it's a poison dart, so it's not going to be very nice. Okay, so it looks like we've uh, explored a good bit, and we've got a 99 iron ore, which is fantastic. So, um, what we'll do at this point is we'll try and get back home. Now, obviously, I can't use this at the moment because I don't have any mana. I'm clicking away like mad and I can't use this magic mirror because uh, I don't have any mana. So, we will use the one, the magical wonders of editing and uh, I'll see you guys in a moment when we are back at the house. 
Okay, we finally made it back to the surface, and uh, we're picking up some fallen stars here. So, because we picked up the magic mirror and it requires 20 mana, uh, I need to get as many of these fallen stars as I can in order to build a mana crystal. So you need 10 fallen stars, then you can make a mana crystal, and uh, just by using the mana crystal, you uh, increase your total mana by 20. Let's see how many we have now. We have five. Okay, so we just need five more. Um, Fallen Stars, obviously, the, as it says on the tin, they disappear after sunrise. So I'm just going to try and see if I can grab a couple of these very quickly. What is this? A little bit of iron ore just sitting there, chilling out, having fun. Awesome. Ooh, a chest. What's in here? Iron bars. Okay. Uh, don't have any room for that. Lots of shurikens. Lesser health potions. Shine potions. Nice. Okay. They emit an aura of light. We'll come back for those. Try and get up here first. So we want to try and get to these before daytime returns, otherwise they're going to disappear. And even actually, um, I was recently playing a bit of this game with uh, Viper. Uh, we were just messing around with it, and uh, apparently, if you take fallen stars and uh, actually try and throw them to somebody during daytime, they just absolutely disappear like vanished straight away so he had uh, managed to gather a stack of like I don't know, 35 or something like that to throw them to me with uh, a new character I was messing around with and they just all vanished I was not best pleased I'll tell you that okay we well got eight now come on gotta find more gotta find more gotta find more get out of my way zombies you're interfering with my quest Whoa, and he's a jumper. Whoa, okay, I'm just gonna bypass you, because you're a lunatic. Yes, there's another one. All we need after that is one more. And there it is. Jump. <laughs> Joke's on you, fool. Oh. Daytime. Awesome. Right. So, I now have enough fallen stars to make a mana crystal. So, we're going to take that. We're going to plunk that there. We're going to go use it. Boom. Now we've got 20 mana. Oh, yeah. And now, magic mirror time. Look at that. That is cool as fudge. So, over here. Uh, so on the way up, actually, we came across uh, lots and lots of uh, gold. Um, how much do we get? Yeah, we got 22 bits of gold ore on the way up um, back to the house. So that was pretty sweet. Nice. All right. So let's take that. Hmm. Okay. Uh, can't really do much with that right now. So, yeah. Okay, let's take that. I'm just going to throw this over here for a second. Silver bars. Okay. Iron bars. Let's make a hell of a load of these. Boom. Now I can make lots of stuff. So I can make uh, iron greaves, iron chainmail, and iron helmet. Uh, so they all have more defense than this cr crappy copper... Oh, you... Oh, my dumbass. I am such a dumbass. How did I not realize that? Oh. I equipped my... Oh, this... Wow. Oh, you people are going to laugh at me. As it says right there, it's equipped in the social slot, so I'm not going to get any defense whatsoever. Fucking idiot. Right. Now I have six defense, whereas before I had zero defense. Oh. Now I feel like a dumbass. Okay, so that has one, that has two, and that has one. But, and you get a set bonus of two defense. So these have two, three, and two. And you probably get a set bonus of two or three as well. Right, anyway, I'm going to make another chain. So i got two chains. Silver helmet. It's got even more. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Now we're getting places. Silver pickaxe, 45% pickaxe power. Nice. Okay. So that'll replace the iron one. 
Ooh, we are getting places now, I'll tell you that. Okay, so the two chains that I have there, um, there's another item that we're going to come across at some point uh, in the near future called a hook. And once you take two chains and a hook, you can get a grappling hook. And then you can start flinging yourself across the map. And it's pretty awesome. So let's just make a little bit of room here. Now the more observant of you people will have noticed that just as I passed this, um, the silver watch appeared. So it'll tell you what time of the day it is. So when you're deep underground, um, the music that's there doesn't necessarily reflect uh, whether it's daytime or nighttime. So one of the one of the nice ways that Terraria tells you whether it's daytime or nighttime is with the music. But when you get really really deep, it turns to kind of cave music, uh, so you can't tell at all. So using the table. You can do that. And once we take the table, and I think... I wonder. Let us have a quick investigation. Why is it scrolling through all this very, very slowly? There we go. Okay. Alright, so we have a lot of sand, so we can make glass. We have a clay pot, which we can use to grow plants. And there's a pink vase. I think the vase will do it. Let's have a look. So I'm going to take the vase, and I'm going to place it, and when I place it here, okay, I'm not quite sure whether this works or not, but basically when you have a table and you put either a bottle or a vase or something like that on top of it, it becomes an alchemy station, so you can start making potions. Um, I got rid of the blink root that I had earlier on, uh, so... I think you can use blink root to make stuff. I'm not quite sure. But you still need bottles anyway, so... For that, you need glass. So, I'm going to go to the top of the list. And then jump over here. And now we're at the top of the list again. This is a little trick. So, we don't really have a need for all this sand. Boom. Oh. Where are you going? So, if we wanted, we oh, we can make glass wall. Oh, I like that. A lamp post. You can make bottles. You can make a mug. So, I'm going to make a bottle. I'm going to try and get rid of that clay pot. Or the pink vase. Okay. And uh, let's take a bottle there and see what happens. Boom. Okay, that looks more like an alchemy station to me, so I think we'll stick with that. Is there anything else we can do with all this glass? Now the glass wall, I really like the sound of that. I might actually build my little base using glass wall as the background. Because one thing that I find um, unfortunate about the way the terraria works, is because, the, because you have to put in a background in order for it to qualify as suitable housing, you, you can leave tiny little bits open to have light coming in um, and make it you know, look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. But most of the time you end up not putting those in so you just have this kind of black wall or whatever it is and uh, there's no real light coming in so you have to rely on torches and stuff like that all the time. So let's see how we get on with the glass anyway. I think it might look pretty cool. Got to get rid of all this crap first. Now, is this a wooden hammer? Okay, I better go make a copper hammer. Maybe a silver hammer, that might be better. An iron hammer. Don't really want to use up any of the iron I have there for that. Let's make a silver hammer. That'll do. Whoa, that's much faster. Look how fast that goes. Woo! Oh yeah. Alright, let's see what this glass wall looks like now. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I suppose if I took the time I could mix the glass wall and other walls and make actual window as opposed to just you know an empty space being a window 
So I might do that at some point. But I'm not going to bore you guys with that. So, that's what glass walls look like. I'm pretty happy with that. That looks cool. Right, okay, that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, thanks very much for coming along for the ride, guys. Uh, as I said, you know, as I said in the first video, uh, if there's any particular stuff that you want to, to see me uh, try or build or, you know, um, places you want me to go, different biomes, this, that, and the other, uh, just let me know in the comments below. Uh, as I say, we will be going through the, all that kind of stuff later on. So I think the next thing we'll do is uh, we'll take all of this kind of resources that we've gathered at this point and uh, we will venture forth and uh, see what the rest of the wide world has to offer us. Um, obviously, any of you who are anyway familiar with that, with this game, um, or who can kind of tell where things are heading. Um, the further down you go, the more interesting things get as well. I've just run out of that glass wall, helpful. Um, so the further down you go, the more interesting things get as well. Uh, so you can go up and things get only a little bit interesting. You can go all the way left or all the way right and things get a good bit interesting. You can go all the way down and things get very interesting. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens next time. So as I say, thanks very much for coming along guys. Really appreciate it. Um, as always, I'd appreciate any of your feedback. So leave a comment below and I will see you next time. All right, take care.